so now we're going to go ahead and start dealing with the chamber. Um, right now I've got my quick links, my two short bungees that are left over from my kit. Uh, and I've laid out my chamber. You'll see the picture in the manual. The, all the folds for the chamber are underneath. And my gauge is on this side. And my air intake is on that side. Once you get the chamber inflated and everything's good, if you need to switch your valves so that the intake is on the other side because that's where your electric is, you can do that very easily by unscrewing uh, this and unscrewing one over there and just exchanging them. Um, so uh, your frame should be nice and tight. If it's a little rickety, uh, you can use your screwdriver to come in and tighten these up a little bit more. Uh, just slide it through there and I can use that just to tighten that up and make sure it's nice and tight. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and we've got the chamber laid out, we've got our frame ready to go. We're going to connect the compressor and go ahead and get this thing blown up. We want to blow it up partially, not all the way because we still have things to connect. Um, so. Uh, we're going to come back to the compressor here. I've got the other end of my air hose. And I'm going to want to twist this hose around so that I have a nice flow to it, so that it's not going to be all twisty and curly. That'll help you to move it around. Uh, just like we did before, I'm going to uh, just loosen that clamp a little bit. Slip that onto this brass elbow. It's called your air intake valve. And we're going to go ahead and tighten that up. Okay. Now for the compressor, this does not have an on-off switch. It plugs in and, and um, unplugs to turn it on and off. Uh, what I do at my house, I've got mine going into a power strip. So the compressor is okay to have going into a power strip. Uh, you do not want your oxygen concentrator in a power strip. That item you want to plug directly into the wall. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so we go ahead and switch that on. And our chamber is starting to inflate. Okay, so for this next step, I've gone ahead, I've turned off my compressor um, because I really don't want this to keep inflating while I'm doing the next step. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our uh, Delta Quick Links in our hangers. Now at this point you'll notice that um, I've got down here, uh, my poles are sticking out that I'm not using. And the zipper should be on the same side. So if it's not, go ahead and, and flip your chamber real quick uh, so that it is sitting the way it's supposed to be. Uh, now I've got seven hangers total. And uh, the ones we're going to use first are going to be on the either side of the window. So on both of these, I'm going to slip these in. There are close-up pictures on how to do that in your um, manual. If your uh, items are tight, you can take a, um, a screwdriver or a knife, uh, like a table knife, and just kind of go like this a little bit, and that will loosen them up. Make sure that you're on both ends so that you don't puncture the chamber. And we'll go ahead and slip all of these in. So I've got two on this side next to the windows. And I've got two on the other side next to the windows. The ones on top we're going to deal with in just a little bit. All right, and then we have three here in the front. So there's one, two, and three. All right, now I don't really want to connect my bungees yet because this is pretty heavy and they really don't reach yet. So we're going to continue inflating and then we'll connect all of the bungees. All right, now the only thing that we have left are our two bungees, um, and you'll notice that one is longer than the other. So we're going to take the longer one, and that one is going to go in the back, and the shorter one is going to go in the front. And what I want to do is slip that through 
the hanger here on top. And you notice that you have a little hook tool here. That's what I like to use that for. And I can just hook onto that bungee. Just slide that through. And I'm going to go ahead and put the one on in the back. And you really need to put um, all of your hangers onto the chamber when the chamber is uh, deflated like this. If you wait until it's inflated, you will have a very, very tough time. All right, and we got that through there. Now, it's still, the chamber's still heavy to try to connect all of that, but we're ready to go. When we inflate the chamber fully, we'll finish connecting everything. So now we'll turn the compressor back on. All right, so now my chamber is fully inflated. Um, you have deflate valves over here. They are uh, called pressure relief valves in your manual. And they should be expelling air at this point when you're fully inflated. Uh, your gauge should be somewhere between four and four and a half PSI, and that's your gauge right there. Uh, at this time, we can go ahead and connect the rest of the bungees. You see it's very easy to do. I'm just going to slip that over. On these side ones, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my uh, lock nut. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and I can go ahead and, on my top ones, go ahead and loop those around. Do a little pull though. And I'm going to make sure that S hook is down here near the, near the webbing. On these, I'm going to leave these open because as you enter and exit the chamber, depending on who's using it, uh, you may want to be able to take these off to roll that down and roll that back up. So on these, I don't tighten the lock nuts. Now, your chamber, as it's inflating, you want to make sure that it's positioned correctly because uh, you see it is tight in here once it inflates. Your webbing should be just on the inside of each bar, front and back. If it's not, you can adjust that as it deflates. Uh, and if you're having trouble getting these uh, on because you didn't uh, or it wasn't positioned correctly, you can do that later as well. And again, I'm going to want that S hook down here near the webbing. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish these up. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn off my compressor. And we're going to allow this to deflate. Uh, on this side, you have a deflate valve. Let me just turn this. And I'll say, see how easy it is to move around. Uh, a deflate valve here. And it has a black lever on it. Uh, when it was shipped to you, the lever was closed. You'll see that it goes across the silver cylinder. Uh, to open it up, I'm just going to turn that lever. Okay, now my chamber is down to zero PSI. And you'll notice that the material is... Uh, kind of soft. Uh, I'd like to say my Pil uh, Pillsbury Doughboy poke for those of us who are a little older and remember that. Um, so you'll notice that on the inside. Once your material is soft, the chamber's no longer holding pressure, it's already, it's okay to go ahead and open up your zippers. Uh, so we'll start with our outside zippers if you're on the outside. Of course, if you're on the inside, you would start with your inside zipper. Go ahead and fully Pull that all the way around. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and open up that blue one and grab the black handle for the black zipper. And I'm going to pull that, and as I pull that, you'll notice that the air is going to release from the chamber. And we want to just give that a nice even pull all the way around. And notice how I'm keeping my hand in line with the zipper. So as I'm zipping, I'm in line with the zipper. I'm not over here trying to pull this way from over here. Always make sure that your hand is in line with the zipper. And then the last one. Uh, and this can be a little troublesome. So I'm going to just 
open that up. You see how that opens? And I can slip a finger in there and grab that and bring that up. Now, as I'm doing this, I do not want these handles to rub against the black zipper. So I need to keep that open. And I can do that uh, here by either pushing in or pulling out on the material as I zip. All right. Now, here's a trick. Once you get to this point, I usually go inside and grab the inside handle and just let my uh, hand go right through there. And that's much easier to do. Now we're ready to go ahead and disconnect our bungees. And to go ahead and roll up the front of the chamber. So I'm going to start at the very top and just give that a little roll and just keep rolling as I go. And that should create a nice flat surface and you can walk across that surface to be able to get in and out of the chamber.